male reproductive system and these are the various structures. Fine. See the testes, seminal vesicles, fast difference, male gonopore, ejaculatory duct, accessory glands and the gonapophysis also termed as the phalomeres. Let me talk about the important structures which are essential, absolutely essential for you to understand and also for your examination. Here it goes, the male reproductive system. Testis, of course. See, note it down. One pair of testis is present and they are trilobed. Three lobes, one pair trilobed testis. Where are they present? Fourth to the sixth abdominal segments. This is again important. Note it down. They are present in the, in the fourth, there at the fourth and the sixth segment. Fourth to the sixth segment, okay? Not fourth and sixth. Fourth to the sixth abdominal segments. Great. Well, so one pair of trilobed testis. Fine. Let me show you. Yes, this is the testis over here. Now, let me show the next structure, which is vas deferens. Vas deferens. Yes, arises from the testis and here is the vas deferens for you. It arises from the testis. Fine. Okay. Where does it open? It opens into the ejaculatory duct. It opens in the, into the ejaculatory duct. And where is this ejaculatory duct? Let me show you. This is the ejaculatory duct. Okay. The testis. Fine. And the vast difference, which opens into the ejaculatory duct of the cockroach. Okay. Well, opens into the male gonopore. Gonopore means genital pore. Gonopore is nothing but the genital pore. Fine. Now, male gonapophysis. What are they? They are first, uh, look about this, surrounded by chitinous. Chitinous asymmetrical structures gonapophysis okay so they are chitinous structures asymmetrical structures gonapophysis male gonapophysis also called phalomeres remember this questions can be asked referring as male gonapophysis or phalomeres so when questions are asked about phalomeres you have to understand they are talking about the male gonapophysis okay also, at times termed as the external genitalia. Male gonapophysis or phalomeres or external genitalia for the males. Fine. Now, there are three. Right phalomere. Look at the structure. You have the ventral phalomere and you have the left phalomere. Clear? Take a close look, proper look. Three. Right, ventral and the left phalomere. Clear? Yes. Very good. Now, seminal vesicles, they store the sperms. Where are they? Yes, this is the seminal vesicle. They store the sperms. Now, sperms are glued together into bundles. You have encountered this word, spermatophores. So, the sperms, they're glued together. It forms like packet, packets. You can call as packets of sperms. And what are they referred to as? The spermatophores. Sperms glued together into bundles. Spermatophores. Remember this word. Spermatophores, fine. Well, sperms discharged during the copulation process. Sperms are discharged during the copulation process. So, these are about the, some of the important glands. Now, talking about the accessory glands, is something called the mushroom gland. Helps in nourishing the sperms. You know, they are present in the 6th to 7th abdominal segments. Okay. The mushroom glands, 6th to 7th abdominal segments, here they are located and they help in nourishing. They help in nourishing the sperms. They are small and long tubules. They help in nourishing sperms. It's something called the phallic gland. Where is it? Here is it. Okay, here it is. The phallic gland. Mushroom glands. You cannot see the mushroom gland properly here. Okay, but the phallic gland, yeah, that's important. Helps in the formation of the spermatophores. Spermatophores you have just studied. So, the phallic gland helps in the formation of spermatophores. Accessory glands too. Mushroom glands helps in nourishing the sperms. Phallic gland helps in the formation of the spermatophores. Now, it's about the male reproductive system. Let's look up proper three-dimensional view. Fine. Take a look, relax and enjoy. Well, I just move aside so that you can... Enjoy this view.
Okay. So the phallic gland. Yes, you saw the testes. Yes. Now see the small tubules. Long tubules. Fine. See the seminal vesicle. Great. The vast difference. Figure out. Ejaculatory duct. It opens into the ejaculatory duct. Right phalomere. You have the ventral phalomere. You have the anal cerci, right? Both sides. Caudal styles for the male specifically. Pseudo penis. Titillator. Left phalomere. Yes. So these are the overall structures. Well, I'll just come back to my position. See the overall structures. Okay, take a proper look because these pictures will actually help you remembering and understanding what are the functions, what are the structures. Correct? Take a look. I'll wait for you. Fine. Take a look. Well, titillator and pseudo penis, you don't have to worry right now because, you know, but these are structures which are involved in the reproduction process. That's it. That's it what you have to know. Detail you don't, don't need to know right now. But the other structures we have discussed extensively and that is important. Take a look proper. Okay. Got it? Fine. Shall I move on to the female reproductive system? Yes. Great. Let's do this. Female reproductive system. Let's see what are the structures we are going to study. The ovaries. Oviduct. Common oviduct. Genital chamber. Spermatica. And the collateral glands. Well, let's start it. Ovaries. Pair of large ovaries. Do you see the ovaries over there? Yes, they are quite large. Yellow, large structures. Those are the ovaries. Each ovary, what do they have? Eight ovarian tubules or ovarials with developing ova. Note it down. Each ovary is what? Basically, it's eight ovarian tubules or ovarials with developing ova. Fine. So, pair of large ovaries where they present 2 to the 6th abdominal segment. Note it down. 2 to the 6th abdominal segment. Well, so here is ovary. 2, you can see the ovary. 2 ovaries. Correct? Let me show you the oviduct now. Where is the oviduct? Here is the oviduct for you. Each ovary leads into a oviduct. Each ovary will lead into a oviduct. Fine? Great. Now, the oviducts, they join to form single median oviduct. So, look, each ovary from there, oviduct forms. Now, oviduct is here, right? So, ovary, then you see the oviduct. They join to form single median oviduct or the vagina. Clear? Okay. Now, the vagina opens into the genital chamber that opens in the genital chamber and this is the genital chamber for you clear yes or no fine got it okay so the ovary oviduct the joint forms the single median oviduct or the vagina and vagina leads to the genital chamber let me show you the spermatica one pair present in the sixth abdominal segment where is it yes this is the spermatica okay it opens into the gen genital chamber here, this is genital chamber. Fine. What's the function? Store sperms. We studied in case of earthworms also, right? Store sperms received during copulation. Clear? Spermatica. Now let me talk about the collateral glands. What are they? Sections help in formation of the egg case, which is basically the uthika. Questions can be asked. So. To note it down. Fine. Okay. So collateral glands. Sections help in. That help in the formation of egg case. Which is the uthika. Fine. Okay. Let me show. Where is the collateral? Yes. These are the collateral glands. And very important function. What? Formation of. Helps in the formation of the egg case. Which is nothing but the uthika. Well. I'll show you one more thing over here. You know what? This it's at times referred to as the genital chamber. Fine. And vestibulum. This is vestibulum. 
the vestibulum the genital chamber and the vestibulum together they form the genital sorry for my handwriting genital pouch so note it down questions can be asked okay look at the structure so you see the genital chamber i've labeled it for you then you see the vestibulum yes together genital chamber and the vestibulum they are referred to as the genital pouch clear let's enjoy the three dimensional view of the female reproductive system of the cockroach channel again provide you the way to enjoy the three dimensional visualization yes wow oviduct you said saw the ovaries yes common oviduct of the vagina yes collateral glands genital chamber yes vestibulum got it gonapophysis the spermatica correct yes this is for you all the important structures that you can see on the screen take some time and help yourself revising all the structures yes well i'll give you some more space so that you can take a proper look because this is important you know what if this image gets registered here you are never ever going to forget the terms the functions where are they found yes 